you tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Do you have news? Did you find something? I knew it. Let me see, please. The Thalmor. By the Nine. It's worse than I thought. So, North Watch Keep. Then we know where to hit him. I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? Thorald can't be left to those... monsters. What? You, alone, reasoning with the Thalmor? That's madness, friend. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it, I will. Please tell me you have news of my son. You take care of yourself now. Forget or Windhelm. White Run, what? This was such a glorious city, but then everything had to change. The Empire came, and my brother was lost. Two at it again. Watch the eyes. I knew it. it. Kill him. Nice. You get in there and punch. Yeah. Just keep swinging. Yeah. Oh. I'll sort of curse you. You're pathetic. Ah. Good. Septum's on the girl. Look at that speed. No, oh, they used to be something. Nowadays, they just squabble amongst themselves. Take my advice and keep away. You look too smart to get caught up with this bunch. Well, when you get to be my age, you don't remember why you did much of anything. Only that it happened. Oh, we've got an old saying. The gray manes have lived in White Rum since the first snows fell in Skyrim. Well, maybe that's not entirely true. But our clan's got a long and proud history in this old. We respect the old ways, the Nord ways. And the Grey Mane has worked the Skyforge since before the time of my grandfather's father. Aye, they're an old clan like ours. But they cast their lot with the Empire when the uprising began. Ulfred Battleborn made his money from farming and got himself some new friends among the Empire's nobles. Now he's in the Emperor's pocket like the rest of them. With no regard for honor and tradition. Aye, we used to be fast friends. Though it was long ago. 
We were two of the city's oldest and most respected clans. And we could trace our histories all the way back to East Grimaud's companions. But then Olford got rich and decided he and his kin were too good for us simple, backwards Nord folk. When the troubles began, he took the Empire side. We haven't spoken much since then. I was done talking anyway. I can't keep helping you with everything. Ask any fool around here and get a different answer. Mercenaries, warriors of honor, brothers and sisters of the Blade, drunken rabble. Take your pick. I've been here longer than most of them. Even I don't know sometimes. I just hope they don't kill each other. I learned the ways of the Blade in the Great War. Nearly lost my life outside the Imperial City. I came home to Skyrim when it was all over. But I wasn't much good at anything other than fighting. Wandered around as a blade for hire. It's a damned good one, too. The money was good, and the women were good, and the drinks were good. But I was losing myself, my heart. I was lucky the companions found me. Now there's a reason to be fighting. The honor of my brothers and sisters is worth more than coin. Of course the money is still good. And the drinks! None of our business. There's no honor to be had in the squabbling of Jarls. So you think you have what it takes? Huh. Lucky for you, I'm not the one who makes that decision. Talk to Codlack. Who knows? Maybe he's in a generous mood. Until next time. My brother Vilkas is a better talker than me. He should be around someplace. The companions are my family. We fight so that other people don't have to. We bring honor and glory to ourselves and each other. Vilkas and I have been here run? since we were little whelps. We Our father Jürgen raised us here. There's nothing wrong Even Vigner couldn't doing. remember companions you younger than us. Like Let's just not be too too confusing for me. Empire, Nords, Talos, who cares? Just tell me who needs bludgeoning. Kodlak is the one who figures out who can be a companion, so talk to him. It's out of my hands. Until next time. What now? I've been tending to the warriors of your Vasker for as long as I can remember. A good bunch of men and women who make too much a mess, if you ask me. Goodbye, dear. What's on your mind? Only the most famous warrior band in all of Skyrim. Have you been living with the Horkers? When we arrive, blood is spilled and our blades sing to the glories of Ysgrimor. This is life, brother. The struggle is what reminds us to draw breath. Are you kidding? I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Haven't you heard the stories of Kodlak and Skior fighting off the 101 Orc Berserkers? Skior says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. The Circle are the ones who parcel out the jobs. That's Ayla, Skior, and the brothers, Farkas and Vilkas. Kodlak advises them, but he doesn't really give orders. Farewell. Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. You want to talk to huh? one of the companions, I'm sure. My brother Vilkas is a better talker than me. He I've should be around someplace. I've been to the warriors of your All right, for as long as I can remember. Ah, fresh blood. Hope you know how to handle yourself. Why would you even come to your Vasker without knowing what we stand for? 
This is not play acting here. We are the true spirit of Skyrim. Honor is in our blood, death in our hearts. If you seek either, you've found the right place. Fortune and glory, friend. Fortune and glory. Soon enough, it'll be me. In the meanwhile, the Circle handles our daily routine, and Codlack advises them as Harbinger. Safe Bye, travel. Dear. I haven't seen you before, have I? Have we met? I'm sorry if I've forgotten. We're the best damn fighters in Skyrim. At least, some of us are. A man of my station has many debts. I'm not much use at labor or learning, but I can throw a punch with the best of them. The companions let me fight for gold, and so I fight. In charge of what? I'm in charge of me, and you're in charge of you. If you're looking to join up, Codlack's the one to be talking to. All right, then. Make it quick. Are you looking to join? I wouldn't get your hopes up. The short answer is, we fight. The long answer is, uh, forget it. You're not worth my time. So I wouldn't have to answer stupid questions from idiots. You don't just waddle in here and get to speak to the boss. Who do you think you are? If you want to embarrass yourself, I won't stop you. Codlack is the harbinger. He's the closest thing you'll find to a leader around here. All right, then. But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. Great. Another ambitious visitor. You think you can just wander in here and join us? You'll hear some of the brighter faces around here talk about honor and glory. I've got nothing against it, but for me, the promise of coin is what feeds my blade. Wherever someone in Skyrim doesn't feel up to defending their own honor, we'll take up their burden. To hear Farkas tell it, our father raised us here as happy pups, running around biting knees. I love my brother, but his brains are not his strong suit. We were brought here by Jürgen. Whether he was our father or not, I don't care. He left to fight in the Great War and never came back. So he's not my problem anymore. We've been here as long as either of us can remember, though. So try to show some respect. There are always good reasons to fight. I just wish this war had them. Who cares who worships what dead god? Give me something to make me draw my sword. I don't know if you're capable, and I don't have time to find out. If Codlack will vouch for you, I might have some work you could do. Mm -hmm. A stranger comes to our hall. Your question carries more weight than you may know, newcomer. The sort of thing some of us spend our lives pondering. The difference between a noble band of warriors and a ragged bunch of assassins is as thin as a blade's edge. I try to hold us to the right path. Like most of our band, I found this family after losing my own. I traveled the length and breadth of this land, learning all I could of the sword and the axe. I was just a boy, 
but I had the fire of a man in my heart. Eventually, my body caught up to my spirit. My predecessor, Asgar, found me in Hammerfell. I was serving as a bodyguard for some weak-necked lord out there. He brought me back here, and I realized that I was actually coming home. I worked to bring honor to this family, and to the family that I lost. For my mother, my father, and my grandfather. For all my S.H.I.E.L.D. siblings. Family and honor. That's what it means to be one of us, boy. Politics are something best avoided. I prefer more personal confrontations myself. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Mm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in Yorvaskar for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the... I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? That's the spirit. Vilkas here will get started on that. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. Aye. 